Hello everyone, welcome to the Engineering Projects YouTube channel. My name is Junaid Shahid and in this video, I am going to explain you how you can create your first project from WordPress to ASP.NET Core. We are going to start the series of migration in the previous couple of videos. I have explained you about the data access layer. We have worked with ADA.NET, we have worked with Dapper, we have worked with Entity Framework code first and database first which is really most important part uh, to be uh, utilized before getting started this video so if you don't know how to work with database first or code first so must view that video and learn how you can work with that in this video we are going to create our first project which we will utilize for the migration in the whole series uh, we will we are going to integrate our first project with GitLab so that you can get a copy version uh, in each video when I will perform any task I will check in and you will get the fetch request and perform your uh, things on that okay so it is a public project uh, which is sponsored by the engineeringprojects.com uh, so you can get the your link from description for this uh, GitHub project okay so let's get started. Uh, in this video, what we will do, we will create ASP.NET Core project. Then we will integrate Grid Lab. For that, you need a must account on there, which I have. And I will push the sample code to GitLab. So the whole crux of this video is we are going to create a repository in which we will maintain our code. In the next video, we are going to do migration of my SQL database into SQL server MS SQL server so keep connected and let's see on my laptop okay here you can see this is a create new project screen okay and in this create new project I will select ASP.NET Core web application and hit on next then you need to give it the name so I will name it as uh, the engineering projects dot com but I will not use a dot com word here I will just write the engineering projects dot com so here is the engineering projects uh, WP okay WordPress and create new so you can see that uh, if I will go back here is the sample location of my local repo remember that you need to install git in your local laptop you are using Mac or Windows you need git if you want to work with any git uh, supported uh, cloud platform like you want to use GitLab you want to use github uh, at least you need a git at your local machine so I have already installed that uh, let's create this project uh, this is a simple web application MVC based okay and I am going to use in visual user account okay why I am using this because we have user management system in our application and we want to restrict other users to don't log in in our application user have the facility to get registered for that we need this uh, feature to be enabled click OK and then click next now it will create the whole project and configure our environment according to our requirements it will implement the identity 2.2 uh, which is compatible with my dot framework version and uh, implement entity framework automatically so I don't need to work on that too uh, and I have already set up login registration forget password recover password functionality within this application uh, I don't need to work upon it okay now the next phase right after creating the environment uh, which is created here the next step is to integrate GitLab uh, with your Visual Studio 2019 okay so what we need to do now first thing you need to install git uh, you can get it open source I will uh, add a link in my description so you need git and install in your laptop okay uh, let's see here is git 
I will open git UI. Sorry, git GUI. Okay. From this git GUI, you need to create SSH key, which is most important to work with any git cloud or service. Uh, we are using GitLab, so you need SSH key to put in your GitLab account. So here you can see this is the git uh, GUI. Go to the help and click on show SSH key, which is this. Copy this key if already generated or generate this key so you can utilize in your app, uh, GitHub, GitLab account. Okay, uh, I have copied this, then I will go to my GitLab account. In the settings, you will see SSH keys. Paste that copied SSH key, title that, and save it. So you can see this is the title, this is the key. Right after this, you need to install the GitLab extension for your Visual Studio. How you can install that? Go to the extensions, click on manage extension. Now you need to search GitLab extension for Visual Studio and install that. I have already installed. When you will install this, uh, you have to click on home and it will lead you to something like this okay in this you can create uh, your project you can clone project uh, you can sign in in github or gitlab so we are using gitlab so you need to sign in into your gitlab and right after that you have uh, something like this information now we are going to push this code there so what we need to do uh, uh, we have created uh, this project and we just need to add add solution to source control click this and now it will add your solution to your local storage so if you have installed a git all your code is added to git but not on GitLab. You have to push from Git to GitLab. So my project is added into Git, locally Git. Here you can see comment created locally in repository and this is the repository path. Now the next move to push this code, this code to push this repository to online. So what I will do, I can push this from here okay go to team uh, go to connection and search for sync and here we have publish to get lab click on publish okay what thing you want to publish you want to publish this one okay you can see push this project so name this project as the engineering this is the repo And this is the message okay our uh, repository visibility is public so you can utilize this and click on publish and the whole code whole piece of code is uploaded to this uh, repository so now uh, we are up to end in this video I will share the reference links in the description of this video uh, from where you can clone this okay uh, let me uh, show you how you can clone that when I will give you the public URL of GitLab after configuring GitLab you just need to go you need to visit team explorer click here changes uh, or in branches okay in branches or 
you can visit home it is more easy go to man here in manage connections you just need to click on clone and paste the link which I will give you here and uh, use any folder for your repository and click clone and it will download all the uploaded code in your Visual Studio 2019 by this you and me can work together on this project I will do iterations here you will get iterations in your laptop and you will get to know how I am working with this project in real-time environment I will push the code in each video so you will get the code and work with your application and so on we are going to create a more advanced than WordPress uh, in ASP.NET Core we will work on real-time chatting we will work on real-time notification uh, user roles user permissions roles permissions and so on modules in this series so don't forget to subscribe the engineering projects youtube channel if you like this video if it is informative so don't forget to share it with your friends with on facebook on twitter on linkedin 